Hi guys, it's Carissa and it is fortune cookie soapbox time. And I'm extra excited for this one because I don't know if you recall, I'm almost positive I said in my last video how because this is a box you only receive four times a year, that when this one showed up it would be really exciting because it would mean spring was right around the corner because it's the spring box. And it's here. I hope I'm not the only person who feels that way. At least where you, if you live in a wintry climate, when you start seeing things in stores for the upcoming holidays, like once I see Valentine's Day in stores and Easter stuff coming into stores, that's just, I just feel so excited. It gives me so much um, to look forward to, just nicer weather and, well, nicer weather and getting red cream eggs. <sighs> Anyway, as you may or may not know, it is a Wonderland theme now, and I didn't know that up until this time. I try to really not see anything ahead of time when it comes to fortune cookie soap because it's just so quirky and exciting, the things that are in the boxes, um, and, you know, clever and sometimes, like, dirty humor, and I just love that, and I don't want to know about any of it before I open it. Oh, I can smell it already, and it smells so good. This is the inside of the box with the Wonderland theme and here are all of the goodies inside. Bright green paper stringies. So I'm gonna grab this little pouch first. Oh! Uh, I thought this was attached. It had this little glittery butterfly on it and honestly I had a hair clip that was all metal. It was like a, a uh, enamel hair clip with a butterfly on it like this and a bookmark that looks like this. I know you're jealous. So that just takes me back to fourth grade, big time. All right, so what is in this little tiny drawstring bag? It looks like coal. What is that, incense? I don't know what this is. This is what I smelled. The whole box smelled like this. This smells so good. It doesn't look like it would smell good. It looks like the stuff that falls to the bottom of your oven, like burned cheese or something. Twisted Tea Party Bath Tea. That sounds like my kind of party, as long as you're serving Long Islands. I don't know why that's plural, because anyone who can drink more than one of those is my hero. A light, refreshing green tea with notes of sweet herbs, vanilla bean, cucumber, golden amber, and hints of neroleum geranium, stirred with a bright sprig of spearmint. Place tea bag directly in a warm bath. So basically, you're supposed to just take this entire thing and use it like a tea, and steep it in your bath water. I don't know. Okay, let's do this Blue's Clues style. Which one should I grab next? Oh, did you say this? Okay, I'll get that. This is the Wonderland Eat Me perfume oil. Whew, okay. All right. What is that? Eat me perfume oil, I dare you, but not really, your tummy would hurt. Scrumptious yellow cake with a fresh slathering of rich creamy vanilla frosting topped with fresh white pineapple slices and garnished with a sprig of blooming cilantro. Um, honestly, it just smells like the pineapple to me. I don't smell all that other jazz. Next is this heart-shaped, I'm gonna guess this is like a bath bomb, bath fizz. It's got flower petals in it and it is leaking all over the place. Off with their heads bath bomb. I just love my morning coffee and executions, don't you? Groves of Meyer lemons, succulent oranges, and perfectly manicured wild roses, violets, star jasmine, and tones of bergamot and Egyptian, Egyptian musk. Yes. Basically, Fortune Cookie Soap is the most expensive um, subscription service I have ever participated in because it makes me want a clawfoot tub so badly. Ooh, what's this one? Futter Whack and Body Wash. It's, it smells how it looks like it would smell. It kind of smells like um, oranges. Sun warmed lilies brightened with a splash of grapefruit and a breath of fresh air. Okay. It smells like oranges to me. It, it can say grapefruit all at once. What's hilarious about opening this right now is it was one degree outside. One degree? It was one degree outside this morning. Ooh, I'm ready for a new hand sanitizer. I actually have my Meli Kaliki Maka hand sanitizer at my desk here. And it's kind of, um, it, I haven't used it as much because it straight up smells like Christmas. So I might have to set that aside until next year. I'm excited for a new spring scent. Um, some kind of charf on that. 
Okay, this is the We're All Mad Here OCD hand sanitizer. It's this really awesome milky purple. We're all mad here, which truly explains a lot. Playful mint waters and natural leafy green notes perform a masterful balancing act with musky rich cedar wood. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's something I feel like I could use all year. This is Wonderland It's Only a Dream whipped cream. This really, oh, you can't see it, can you? It's this really nice kind of pinky, purpley color. Ooh, oh yes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I just started rubbing it all over my face or started eating it? I mean, I'm not going to do that, so don't get excited. Welcome to Wonderland, where playing cards come to life and everything is full of nonsense. Calming verbena, lemongrass, calla lily, citrus, blended with leafy greens, rosewood, ylang lang, lang lang, ylang, ylang, and ozone. What? With hints of soft musk and roses. So yeah, of course I love that. It's all things that I love. Okay, here's the problem. It kind of smells like one of those carpet fresheners you sprinkle on you know, before you vacuum. It smells good, but even with all of those scents combined, what it comes down to is it smells like laundry a little bit, you know? Clean laundry, but still. I don't think that's bad though. That will, I love their whipped cream. I put on my legs after I shave and my legs just feel like the happiest legs in the world. And I have this little bag here that looks like pizza seasoning. It's actually kind of like a tea bag. Wait, is it, did I read the wrong thing before? I did. This is the tea bag that you put in your bath. Okay, that does smell like green tea. It smells like green tea with all the other stuff that's that I had in it. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, I was kind of dealing with, with, you know, I, okay, I read the wrong thing. Okay, and I don't know why I always save this for last. I guess maybe because it's the most exciting part to me. It's the fortune cookie. And it's pretty much my favorite color in the whole world. It smells like, I don't know. Doesn't really have a ton of scent to it, which is nice. I like to um, wash my makeup brushes on these. I like to wet them a little bit and rub my brushes all over them, and they last forever. Fragrance, Almost Alice. Fresh green snap peas, juicy pears, sweet pea flowers, freesia, and ripe berries. Oh, sounds so nice. And my fortune says, how long is forever? Sometimes, just for a second. If you are interested in receiving your own fortune cookie soapbox or even just want to look at the products they have available on their site, I'll put all that information below. It is quarterly, so I will not receive another box until probably April or May. Um, and that will be four boxes, so I will have received one for each season by that point. I'm not sure if I'll continue to get those um get this service or if I will continue to get it I won't maybe necessarily make videos about it I don't know but if you have any preferences or um, suggestions or any of that just leave that below and otherwise thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll talk to you guys soon bye